Welcome to Grizz's workshop. This great lummox is Grizz. Not an expert or an exemplar of safety. Workshop Banter is a podcast and this is their very first challenge, the Pallet Wood Challenge. Challenges are good for the woodworking community. They're an opportunity to see what other people would do in the same circumstances that you're given in this case to build something using only one pallet. Uh, the entries were very good, uh, much better than mine. I decided to use these five bits of wood to make a peacock. The pallet, as you can tell, takes some doing to take apart. You can whack it with your hammer as much as you like. It doesn't tend to shift much. In the end, I had to get my pry bar in order to move it. Now, I decided to make a peacock because my wife is very fond of peacocks. This is a previous project I made of a peacock for the wife. This was uh, epoxy and wood, and I used this template here to make it. So I've extended it because I quite like the thickness at the end. And once I cut it out, I refined it on the bandsaw just to get to the to the line there. And then I used it as a template to cut more tail feathers out. I cut the body and the head. I ended up cutting a different head to the one shown here. So I'm gluing them together with some polyurethane glue. It's very good for outside use. Sets incredibly quick. Very good for low temperatures. Not that it was on this occasion. Now this is the other tail feathers. I screw one on top of the other and used the belt saw, belt sander. Here just to make sure they're all the same. I would use a router bit, but it's a bit small and thin on the end, and a router bit can do a lot more damage than a sanding belt. Not that it didn't hurt when I caught my knuckles doing this. So, using the, uh, the belt sander, I am uh, shaping the peacock. I'm going to get it to the head and the body flow naturally and make it less clunky, more rounded. It takes a while doing it this way and it's a bit noisy. And the dust collection isn't that great, from what you can see. And I reduce the size of the sander there, put the spindles in, and I can get in a bit tighter on the beak and around the neck. Reduce the sander down one more time. Use that little rubber bar to take all the sawdust off the sander so it sands better. And that's done. I drill in the head so I can reattach the nails 
they've got that nice rusty patina on there to make the crest of the peacock. Now off screen, I've drilled some holes in the end of the tail feathers. I've got to record that and now I'm nailing them in place in the rear of the peacock. There's another block there between the tail feathers and the body just so it gets a, a bit of a distance behind it. I did end up coming back and changing the location of the tail feathers so one's on the outside are a bit more in and it's got something more substantial to stick to and then it's just another little bit of pallet wood there it's forming a strip at the back just so it holds it all in place a treated pen fold with some outdoor wood preserver and popped them at the bottom of the garden Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.